Welcome to another segment of Eating Difficult Foods. I'm Jay Reamer, the Etiquette Guy, and today, by popular demand, we are going to discuss spaghetti. Spaghetti, known also as vermicelli, little worms, is a very popular dish eaten all over the world. To cook spaghetti, you need to have a, a pot of boiling, rolling boiling water that has in it olive oil and salt. The salt adds the flavor and the olive oil keeps it from sticking. And you boil this until it is al dente and using vermicelli it usually takes about five minutes. Uncovered. Once the spaghetti is strained and put back in the pot, you take a small amount of sauce and mix it in with the spaghetti and stir it around. From there, it goes right into the serving bowl. And now we're ready to eat. The only time that you need to use a spoon with spaghetti really is when you're serving it and putting it on your plate. So we just take a one portion, oh, we can get this straight, and come on now, put it on your plate. There are several ways to eat spaghetti. One of the most popular ways is using a fork and spoon. The fork is held in the left hand and the spoon in your right. You take a few strands of spaghetti and twirl it using the spoon as a backdrop. And you twirl it all the way up and then voila. The correct way in Italy to eat it is using only the fork. You take a few strands and using the side of your plate, you twirl it until you achieve the same result as though you were using the spoon. And once that's there, then you eat it like that. A very popular way of eating that was <coughs> brought together by Disney in Lady and the Tramp is the Lady and the Tramp method, where you just take spaghetti and you slurp. That's the one of the most fun ways to do it, but it also makes a big mess. So it's not advised, especially if you're with someone you're trying to impress. But the least favorite way is cutting. Cutting is where you take the spaghetti and you basically turn it into your very own SpaghettiOs. Once you reach the age of six, that method should no longer be employed. So to wrap it up, the best way is using the fork only, then using the fork and spoon, then actually the lady in the tramp method, which you can perfect, and then finally the cutting. So that should take the mystery out of eating spaghetti. I hope you've enjoyed this segment and come back again and watch us for another segment of Eating Difficult Foods.